I love it. It's mostly influenced me by my family. I used to live in Ecuador in South America and down there I got to really see how close families were together and it taught me a lot of value because I find today in life a lot of people they they take their family for granted. They fight a lot, kids are moving out young and they're just living life differently to what I picture it should be because for me family is everything I really have. Uh, today on the move that I'm going I'm moving to Winnipeg and the only family I have out there for me is my father. Living in Sudbury I have my mom, her entire side of the family, my two brothers and my niece and nephew and when I was leaving yesterday to go out there it hurt me the most, like knowing that I'm leaving my niece and nephew behind. They're so young and I could do so much for me. And you know what, they like, I can, it's just love you don't get from something else. And then my mom in those last moments when we were saying goodbye to each other, it, it's just something that you find and that should be cherished and that's what I learned living in Ecuador that love for family and love with your family it's strong and it should never be taken for granted and it's just a strong part of my life my family is everything to me because of that down in Ecuador when I was there it was amazing you know family would go out of their way and you know what you'd have five people in a house working to support for members that weren't working in there and it wasn't just you know like I think I like this person we're gonna go get our own place together it was no when people were getting married and going together people were moving into other family houses it wasn't you were just on your own family was close and I think um, a lot of people they don't have that same value for family and I think that's shouldn't be like that. You should really love and cherish your family. And that's what love is to me now.